<sighs> oh boy. Hi. The set of skeletal remains still in the process of decaying. Based on the height unit form, it seems to have been a junior or senior high school but high school boy. There's a pair of spike shoes. Spike shoes lie on the ground nearby. Maybe he was an athlete. His head seems to have been detached from his body completely. There's not a lot of blood on the floor, but it nonetheless seems logical to conclude that this was the cause of death. As expected, his student ID name tag seems to have survived intact and it is still pinned to his uniform. My god, there's a lot from the school! Mitsuri... Mitsuri... Nope. Amano. Sure. Hello, nope. No. I didn't intend for that to happen. I just... I just wanted to tell you how I felt. But then you had to go and die. Was this in regards to the dead girl that I encountered in the entranceway? He seemed to be wait. He seemed to be wearing the same uniform as her. What really happened here? I feel like I'm missing something. It gives me the creeps. So maybe I should go back and examine the girl's body more carefully. Wait, which girl? One of the exits? I guess so. Fucking hell. There are skeletal remains here. I feel bad doing this, but I really need to take a closer look at you. Ugh. I guess examine the body in detail. There's a box cut on the floor next to the girl's body. His leg is jagged and crusted over with blood. It's clearly not usable anymore. But everything else seems to indicate that this is what was used to kill her. There's a sticker label on the back of the handle with the name written on it. It's owner, perhaps? It says Ayaka... Shimizu. Shimizu? Huh? The notebook I picked up earlier suddenly fell from my hands. And despite the air being completely still in the room, its pages began flipping as soon as it hit the ground. Most were blank. But the very last page contained a few hastily scrawled sentences. Hina is mine. I will always protect her. Always. I'm not about to lose to a man like that. Damned Amano, who's the boy we found at top. Hina seems like she might have a crush on him. So what do I do with my feelings then? I can't simply hand them off to someone else. I have made up my mind. I will kill before Hina. I love you. The student ID must be hers. Hina Haros. Wait, what? There is a crooked, hastily scribbled letters in the memo section of the back of the student ID booklet. It's unclear what was used to write them. Who, uh, what was used to write them, though it certainly doesn't look like ink or pencil. They read, you're no friend. You're no friend. You're an asshole. You're a pervert. Don't touch me. Don't say you love me. I loathe you. Our friendship is over. Gasp, sob. How could she? To a good girl, no less. It's absolutely awful. Shake, I can't take it anymore. I don't want to be in this place. I don't mean a place like this. I didn't even want to look at it, but I decided to hang on to the student ID book. I thought maybe it would yield some valuable clues down the line. And I'd do whatever I had to in order to see Shig and the others again. It's so sad to see this happen between friends. I hope you're at least able to rest in peace now. Friends, I guess in that regard, I've really been blessed. My friends are all happy, fun, beautiful people. On the surface, sure. I wish I could see them. I wonder where they are right now. It is so quiet. I don't know where to go! And the, the guy might- the little boy might be out there still. Uh, crap. No, <laughs> 23! Uh, well, um, God damn it, wrong button. There's so many- I have like three buttons on my mouse and they all do different things. I just don't know, don't know what to do with it. Jesus. Uh oh. Not the ghost! Mayu? Mayu! Mayu! Is that- Mayu, can you hear me? If you can, please say something! Shig! I'm right here, Shig! Shig, I'm here! Can you hear me? Where are you? Mayu, where are you? Wait, Shig, don't leave me! I'm right here! Shig! The calls had stopped. The voice was long gone. He must have wandered too far away. Shake, didn't my voice reach you? Was I not loud enough? You can't have gone too far, though. Shig! Shiggy, if you can hear me, say something! Oh, God. Uh. 
Do we just start a search for him, I guess? Yeah, that's candle. Candle. Call back. Whoop. Ah. Uh, well, let's just try going back to three hit. Oh, well, I don't know what I hit. <laughs> Uh-oh. Not the boy again. Shig, where are you? I've been looking all over for you. Are you over here? I just wanted to see you. No, no, stop it, Mayu. You start crying over something like this. Imagine how badly Shig would tease you about it later. Oh, fuck. Not another earthquake. Ah, uh, boy. The tremors were so intense I was unable to keep standing. I fell hard on my bottom and watched as my student ID slipped from my skirt and into a hole. Oh, fuck. Scrap of paper from Sachiko's charm must have shaken loose in the process. It slipped out and sh sh snaked its way haphazardly onto the floor. Fuck. I'm a walking death trap now. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Was it finally over? I cautiously pulled myself back to my feet. And that was when I realized that the floor, no, the whole hallway had changed. Cracks and holes in the floor had somehow been sealed up, and a window that was there before was now completely gone. I couldn't really come to my terms with what was... With what I was seeing. Was this reality? What kind of hell was I stuck in anyway? I was getting goosebumps all over my body, and my mind felt like it was shutting down. Then I saw the Sachiko charm scrap and snapped back to my senses. God, I gotta be more careful. I almost lost this. I scooped it up, thinking of Shake standing next to me and everyone else smiling and laughing during that ritual. My body was trembling in fear, and my vision was beginning to blur. This place was taking its toll on me. Pleasant memories of friends were all I had left. Why? Why was this happening? I hate to see how bad the darkening- Hi, Shig. Oh, look how normal you are. So, in other words, they won't let us use this cultural assembly stage. Unfortunately not. I got us to permission to use it on the phone, but I guess that really doesn't do us any good if the advisor is in, in charge isn't on board. Huh. And our- <laughs> Wait. And our- Ristic nonsense, sure. Not much we can do, though. Our own advisor isn't exactly known for his enthusiasm, and putting it on a show outside of school would have its own problems. And you're content to just leave it at that? The script is already finished, you know. Maybe I should try my hand at negotiating. Just because they're adults doesn't mean they necessarily deserve all the respect platitudes we're expected to give them, after all. Drew that, yo! Go for it! <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, nothing, really. I'm just thinking of how cute you look when you're mad. Don't be stupid. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Really, I'm just happy you're here to get upset over something like this for me. Huh? Well, I'm not good with conflicts, so I just kind of... So it's just kind of refreshing to have... Uh, to have you get angry in, in my place. <laughs> Quirky as ever, I see. By which you mean I've got lots of personality, right? Just another reason I'm the poster girl for the drama club. <laughs> yes, I suppose you could say that. Of course, I do more than just act. I could also write scripts, I produce, I make costumes. It's tough being such a... Uh, Renaissance woman. Ha, <laughs> had to think about that. You are very strong, Mayu. Huh? You're a strong person. Even when things are looking down, you always have a smile on your face. And you've always been so mindful of family and friends. Much more than I... Than, much more so than I. You're always willing to shed a tear in sympathy when times are tough, no matter who's watching. Come on, Shig. Is that supposed to be some kind of pickup line or something? I mean, you're the one who always says I'm unreliable. No, I'm simply speaking from the heart here. Dude, would you fucking blink? There are different kinds of strength in this world, after all. Yours is... How do I put this? Yours is bountiful. It's a strength that never falters. No matter what trying times away no matter how many times you stumble and fall you're the type who always gets right back up and tries again it's a substantial strength too substantial enough that even a cold human being like myself can plainly see it shig you're not cold you're just really disturbing it's not true shig i i'm not that strong i'm just good at making myself seem that way in front of other people but in reality when i'm faced with uncomfortable situations i freeze up I've just been playing a part all this time. A part of the good girl that everybody wants me to be. Okay, we're fading to white now. What the fuck is happening? Shig, save me. You must be laughing right now. Saying, my, you so lost without me or something. 
Suzumoto? Yurishigi! Kishinuma! Either way, I think I was right. What happened? Why are you sitting in the middle of the hallway? Kishinuma, I'm so glad to see you. Are you okay? Yeah, more or less. How about you, Suzumoto? You don't seem injured or anything. Yeah, I'm fine. Hick. Did he see me crying? Heh. <laughs> you, uh, got a little snot there. It's kind of dirty, but you can use my handkerchief if you want. Oh, thanks. But no thanks. You should save it for Shinazaki. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, never mind. Don't you worry about it. Just being silly. Okay, speaking of Shinazaki, though, have you seen her anywhere? Boy, what casual conversation we're having in a place of death and destruction. No, I haven't. Okay, so this isn't the way she came, I guess. Was Shinozaki with you then? Yeah, up till just a short while ago. Then she suddenly started acting weird. It was like she was possessed or something. She started screaming all kinds of crazy things. I couldn't understand. I couldn't understand, then ran off somewhere. Oh no, I don't like that at all. She's got a real affinity for the spirit world, you know. Maybe that earthquake was somehow connected to her. Actually, about the earthquake. Yes, let's pause and have this conversation. I mean, I'm glad I found you, but what the fu- Wait, are we in the- We're in the locker rooms. Kishinima sure was taking his sweet time. He went off to search the poolside area by himself, citing the heavy rain as an excuse for me to stay indoors while he- Gallantly, Scott soaked in my place. And I went along with it because I thought it would seem unusually Because it seemed unusually chivalrous coming from someone like him. Well, fuck you! But he's a rank amateur in matters of the spirit, so I was beginning to worry he'd gotten himself attacked or something. And that worry was just starting to turn to panic when... Hello? No good, I think there's something caught in the gate at the bottom, but I can't find a way to drain the water, so I can't actually check it. I did come across a locked pump room, though, so if we can find the key and get in there, we might be able to get to make some progress. I see. That's kind of disappointing. Here I thought we might be able to be on to something, since the whole area had the weird, weird vibe to it. Hey now, aren't you forgetting something? I'm the one who's freezing my ass off out there, scattering around in pouring rain. How about a little gratitude? Gratitude? As I recall, you said you handled this t because it was too dangerous for me. So you brought this on yourself. Well, yeah, I guess, but it's not like it hurt you to thank me. What was that? Nothing. So what are we going to do now? Well, we can get up to the second floor. We can no longer... We, we can't get up to the second floor. We can no longer reach the staircase past the entranceway on account of the hall splitting in half. There was that earthquake not too long ago. Do you think that's what split the hall? That's a good possibility, yeah. It happened right around when the door to the locker room opened up, after all. Wait. I thought we pulled a lever and the, and the locker room opened up. Am I... Am I recalling that incorrectly? Do you think maybe our actions are having a direct influence on the building? That sounds like a setup to some loony bin occult fanfiction or something. Ha! Ha! You should talk! Concerning the situation you're in. Hey, don't you see the word occult like some kind of insult? It comes from Latin, you know, occultus, meaning hidden. And it's primarily used today to describe paranormal studies which stand in, op in opposition to... Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Can we just save the lecture for another day, please? Believe me, I have a whole new respect for the occult since coming here. I mean, the things that are happening to us sure aren't natural. Hell, you've been here a few hours and I've already lost count of, how, of all the dead bodies and ghosts we've seen. I have no choice but to believe you. Not coming from anybody else, all this talk about other dimensions and spiritual planes and stuff would seem pretty far-fetched, even in here. Reality is pretty persuasive, huh? It has its way of forcing you to accept truths that you might have otherwise struggled with forever. Don't smile at me like that. That's weird. No matter how messed up this truth might be. At any rate, I guess we have... All we can do right now is recheck all the areas we can still get to. Are we changing characters? Is this allowed? Hello? Check the third- check the third from the right. That's totally different from the writing here before. It must have been- it must have some meaning. Check the third from the right. Check the third from the right of what? Check the third. Whoa. Wait, pipe? 
Okay, so if I'm facing this, so the middle. Upon twisting the handle, the thin shower head above spun slightly and a small bent piece of wire fell out from, from it onto the ground. This could come in handy. The faucet is rusted over. Okay, maybe it's not this. JK! I mean, I still got something, but JK. Okay, maybe it's talking about... Because I think I, I can still get to the entrance even if that hallway is cracked. Yeah. So maybe it's here. Third from the right. There's no dead bodies and there's no note. Okay. Uh oh. Well, shoot, I thought I was being clever, but I guess not. Okay. I can't go out to the pool. So let's go to the second floor. Oh my god, the stairwell is packed tightly with dust, making it completely impassable. Then how the fuck is he on the second floor and he can find Mayu up there? <sighs> oh wait! Hold on. Can I use the, the wire to pick the door? Is that what it was telling me? Let's fucking hope so. And please don't fall into the pool. Don't get possessed. Don't fall into the pool. Don't do this. Hello, dead body. This is thoroughly decaying. Is there a body there floating on something? I'll check that in a second, maybe. This is thoroughly decaying corpse lying here, practically melting away in the rain. Based on height and uniform, it seems to have once been a male senior high school student. There's a student ID name tag lying on the ground nearby. Matsuki Perfection Perfectual High School, Juzo Nuki. Sure. I can check this one too. It's a comparatively fresh corpse floating in the pool. It looks to be that of a female middle school student based on her uniform and relative size. The back of her head seems to have been bashed in, revealing white skull and pink brain tissue through parts of her hair. She must have been struck pretty hard. Oh, you think? Her student ID name tag is floating next to her with the big bold letters making it legible even from a distance. Uh... Takini Municipal Middle School, Chiaki Hiyama. How many names am I butchering with this? Okay. Where is. No. I have already checked that. Okay, where is the flip flapping door to the. Um, the pump room. Fuck, where is it? Because I'm assuming with the piece of wire I can just pick the lock. Okay, maybe this is not where I'm supposed to go. Um, can I go up? Can I go to... Uh, excuse me. Let me burp first. See, I thought I was smart and figured it out, but I guess not. The door to the custodian's closet is frozen in place as if it's just a decoration on the wall. It can't be open. Okay, fuck. Never mind then. I can't go here. Uh, that's just the door. Okay. See, so there's anything at the end of the hallway here. So remember there was a ghost, spirit, skeletal thing in the original game, but I don't know if it actually translates here or not. I would say no. I would say it does not. Hello. Okay. Let's just keep checking rooms then. Oh, hi, spirit. I'll see to you in a second. I can't read that, apparently. There's a red chalk drawing on the board that looks like kind of like a tomato smashed against the wall. Based on the crudely colorful shapes and uneven lines, it was likely drawn by an elementary school student. An arrow is pointing to the tomato with a big label written in sloppy letters. Girls go splat. Mm. 
I like the fact that I can, like, both be appreciative and horrified by what that sentence means. Ugh. Okay, hi, spirit. Gonna check your body first. These are the fully fossilized from Wow. Remains of another yet another student. This one seems particularly small. He's probably in fifth or sixth grade at the most. There's a name tag attached to his clothing. Renaissance Elementary School, Taka Takashi Hanada. Why? What? That's kind of close to another guy. Just, just slightly. It's worrisome. Make sure you don't meet his gaze, or your soul will be broken. Okay, thanks for that. I guess. Have you seen a key? By chance, anywhere? No? Okay, well. I'm gonna regret this. Let's see what's down here. Fuck. The door to the classroom, classroom 4 is locked. Of course it is. Yeah. Wait, can I use. The door is locked up tight. Maybe I can use that wire to pick the lock. Ha! I was right! I just did it on the wrong door, or couldn't find the right door to work on it. Anyway. Sure, let's, try. let's Let's do this shit! Alright, time to, for the Grand Lock Pick Champion. Championship. You kind of seem like a cat burglar right now. Why are you looking at me like that? It's more like a jailbreak than a burglar in our case. All we're trying to do is get the hell out of here. The door seems to have been successfully unlocked. You did it! <laughs> Fortunately, the lock was super old and not very complicated. Alright. Do a quick save. What hell awaits us inside? Let's... Oh, no. The hell? This isn't the shape of any classroom I've ever seen. Wait! What did you just say? Uh, just as this room is screwy, I mean, look at it. Kishinuma, have you ever said that before? No, of course you haven't, but I know I've been in here before. This is where we saw the little boy spirit. Don't- Hey! Look at that! Ask and ye shall fucking come! Oh crap, it's him. What the hell did he get here? No, you can't go near him. We have to get out of here. This room immediately. There's something very wrong in here. I mean, I can tell that much. But look over there in the corner. There's something here. In here. I'm gonna go check it out. You stay here and if things start to get out of hand, just forget about me and make a break for it, okay? I put you in charge! Fine, go if you want. Just be careful. Whatever you do, make sure you don't look into that kid's eyes. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Okay. I'm just gonna give you a wide berth. It's some sort of pulley mechanism. Its exact purpose is unknown, but it's a large conspicuous level attached to it. Probably couldn't hurt to pull this, right? Pull it. The lever slides down easily. Where did that open? I'm keeping my arrow up here. I'm not touching that kid in any shape. Did that do anything? I don't know. Just get back here. With pleasure. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. Oh, I hate that room. Okay. What did that open? Uh. It opened up like a window or door or something. Is it down here? I can't remember what, where it was. Oh fuck. Was it here? Oh, it was the custodian. The lever appears to have opened a trap door in the wall, just wide enough for a person to fit through. Looks like this goes somewhere. I don't like it though. It gives me the creeps. Even more than that pool or that classroom. Yeah, but there's a chance it might lead us outside. Uh We really have nowhere else to go, so go in. Alright, I'll go first to make sure it's safe. You wait here. No way am I letting you go by yourself. When it comes to ghosts and curses, you're about as clueless as they come. Ouch! Thanks! Don't kill us. Okay. Hello. Hello, heater. 
Hello, sink. Boy, have I not missed you at all. It's an old space heater. Unfortunately, without fuel, there's no way to light it. Then let's tear out some walls and get this shit going. It's a small chest of some sort. What the heck is this? Hmm. Huh. I guess take it. It's a small, finely detailed accessory case made from from tortoise shell. Interesting. It's designed to look as long as dated, but the quality of craftsmanship suggests it might must have been very expensive back in its day. Slightly shaking, it produces a loud, distinct rattling. There's definitely something in there, and based on the sound and the light weight of the thing, it's got to be really tiny. Not sure if we'll need whatever it is, but we we'll, might as well take it with us just in case. I wanted to check out the TV. Can I still do that? Noise from inside the closet. I'm not gonna say it again real fast. Turn the dials accomplish nothing without electricity, it's just a box. But wasn't the sound of the TV static audible from the hall only a few moments ago? Yes, it was. Now, let's ch at the closet. Bitter, it's bitter. It's wearing down my back teeth. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Arg, what is. Wh that's why I said we should stop this. I'm gonna go to karaoke again, but not with all these alf aphids, or aphids around. Oh, my toenails are gone, so I can't walk. I quickly turned around to find Shinazaki excitedly mumbling something to herself in a low tone. Her whole body was slanted with her head leaned against the wall, and she was completely focused on one specific section of empty floor. Shinazaki? Mind your own business, goddammit. Okay. What? What do you mean? Should I not have taken this chest or something? What's wrong? She was like, he then begins begin repeatedly banging her head against the wall. The motion is almost, almost rhythmic as if it was in time with the ticks of a clock or a metronome. Hey, cut it out! The hell is wrong with you? Always, always, you always do this. What is with you and what is it you said? Because we're friends? Well, I can take care of myself. What's with that look? You just hold on a second. Oh, my throat is burning up. Oh, it stinks. It's rancid. I have to run. Why would you do this to me? You're my sister. Well, you can die too. Okay. Okay, you literally just ran off. After suddenly ran almost drunkenly for a few moments, Shinzaki suddenly took off running. She slipped through the trap door and in, into the hallway. What the hell is all, was that all about? Wait, there's no time he was standing around here. I have to go find her. She's certainly an interesting specimen. Ah, who's there? Don't be. You know, you're still not someone I'm interested in seeing, so fuck off. I'm not certain where she came from, nor nor when or how she got here. She seemed to be about the same age as me. She looked almost normal, but her eyes were much less vibrant than they should have been, appearing flat and lifeless like those of a dead fish. Her name was Naho uh, Sanoki. I don't even know if I ever figured out if I named that or if I pronounced that right or not. I guess you could say I'm a medium come writer come high school student or something like that. Or I was anyway when I was alive. When you were alive? Are you telling me you're a ghost? Regrettably, that's exactly what I am. Are you one of that, of that little bastard's friends then? The hell did you do to Shinazaki? And why did you trap us in here in the first place? Oh my, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I, like you, am essentially a victim. There's a little more to it than that, of course. Oh, so you were trapped here too then, and you er um... More importantly right now, the girl who just ran out of here seems to have quite a gift. Oh, yeah, Shinazaki! Yeah, I forgot about that. Wait, please, if you wish to have a place at her side for a long time to come, I believe it would be advantageous for you to listen to my advice. At her side for a long time to come. All right, but can you make it quick? <laughs> Such a firm, cool response is very telling. Well, I'm listening. So what's this about Shinazaki being gifted? You're familiar with the concepts of spiritual mediums, shrine maidens, and shamans, no? They're all people with the ability to lead their bodies to beings that naturally that natural science can't quite classify, beings you would call spirits or gods. They're people who take part in channeling rituals, 
basically possessions, like much like a demonic sort of like you've seen in movies. So kind of like the it Itako from traditional folklore then. Exactly. You've seen it, no? Your friend can take in the thoughts of dead that f flit around in these accursed halls and now put them through her own body. And now I said thoughts, not spirits. These aren't souls, but rather the loose remains of broken minds. Heavenly Host is a frighteningly unique place. So if she's indeed being able to channel them, she take it take it from me. She has a very powerful gift. Can you really call that a gift? She's not like you, you know. Perhaps not. But if you intend to escape from here, these talents of hers can prove most advantageous, provided, of course, that she learns to control them. Yeah, we have like a life and death situation. Let's power the let's channel these powers. Let's do it. We totally have time. Control them? <laughs> well, you saw what happened. She wasn't in control at all, but rather being controlled by the thoughts of another. Think of it as if she had the enormous antenna on her head with impeccable reception 24 hours a day. Except that antenna was missing not only any means of channeling frequencies, but an, a sort of on and off switch as well. At this rate, she's bound to short circuit and break down, or worse still, she might lose her sense of self and initially become a mindless radio. Essentially become a mindless radio. Are you saying there's no way to get her back? I don't know. Who's to say? That all depends on her and on you. Well, then come with me and help me save her, please. I'm sorry, I can't do that. You see, I'm also trying to find someone who's important to me. Yeah, you mean your sensei who you killed? I guess spoiler alerts there for anyone who has not watched the first game in this series. Okay, bye. Thanks for the advice. I've done all I can for you. Whether this experience ends well or gets worse again depends entirely on you both. I wish you the best of luck. Okay, bye. Did they get brighter? Ah, another one. This was a big one. I could, literally couldn't stand up. I fell to my knees on the floor. I couldn't even tell you how long it lasted. It felt like it would never end. But eventually, little by little, it did subside. Gotta take a drink. Whew. I stood back up and surveyed my surroundings. But as expected, the ghost of the girl was nowhere to be seen anymore. This particular quake felt like it shook the very foundations of the entire building. Shinozaki was all I had in my mind. She was in serious danger. I just don't know what the hell is going on anymore. But there's one thing I know. It's that I have to be there for her. No matter what. And now we run off. Shinozaki! Come back!